Hi everyone, my name is Marigold and in today's video we will be talking about the daily day-to-day -day activities and day-to-day -day responsibilities of a DevOps engineer. So I am a DevOps engineer myself, I work as a DevOps engineer and I have a good amount of experience using AWS mainly which is my main cloud platform that I have good expertise in. I even have five AWS certifications and I, uh, I even have one HashiCorp Terraform certification. So I work as a DevOps engineer in a company and I would talk about my day-to-day -day responsibilities in the job in this video. Let's start with the first thing. So working as a DevOps engineer requires like for you to have good amount of expertise in knowing the different DevOps tools being used all around like this DevOps, the cloud industry. So some of the organizations have their infrastructure on AWS, some of them have their infrastructure on Azure, some of them even have them on GCP, which is Google Cloud uh, Provider and uh, I mean platform, and some even have them on Heroku. So where I work, um, most of the infrastructure is at AWS and Heroku. So my daily day-to-day -day, um, responsibilities include working in AWS and Heroku. So some of the infrastructure is on AWS, some of the infrastructure is on Heroku. So for my daily day-to-day -day days and working, I work on Heroku and AWS. However, if you get a job as a DevOps engineer and at a company who uses Azure and you are expert, you are an expert in Azure, so probably you'll be working on Azure on a daily day-to-day -day basis. So for, for example, for me, I use AWS mainly, but sometimes Heroku too. So uh, again, it's not only that there's one um place that the company uses or, or or an organization uses so along with the cloud infrastructure we have many other things that are linked to it like for example i use infra an infrastructure as a, a code tool called terraform if you guys don't know about it you can search it up online it's an infrastructure as a code tool so i use terraform along with aws in my daily day-to-day -day job as a devops engineer so in terraform it involves me like coding uh, the coding new Terraform code, setting up new Terraform projects, setting up new AWS infrastructure using Terraform. So our AWS infrastructure is set through Terraform. So I manage that on a daily day to day basis. Like for example, if we, if we need to change anything in AWS, we, do, we come to Terraform, we make the changes over there and then we run Terraform and the changes are made in AWS. So for example, as I mentioned, like, you know, there are different tools. So along with Terraform, there's also tools called Jenkins, which is a CI tool and Jenkins has like is a really powerful CI tool. So many companies and organizations use Jenkins for their pipelines and for their so many jobs to run. So again, along with AWS, along with Terraform, I also work on Gen Jenkins. Like we have jobs and pipelines in Jenkins, which I can just, you know, on a daily day-to-day -day basis, just work on them, create new jobs sometimes, modify jobs, or just, you know, keep and check of, uh, keep a, keep a check of all the things that's running just to make sure they're working well so um just as i mentioned over here one thing really important in your job as a devops engineer is maintaining the infrastructure and keeping a check of it so you need to be responsible enough to know what is happening if there's any error if there's anything that goes down why is it going down how to keep a check of it how to keep it intact and if something happens how to fix it and one other thing that's really important as a DevOps engineer is monitoring and eff efficient monitoring of your infrastructure. So you need to keep up, keep, you need to be keep, you need to be updated about your infrastructure and how um, how it is monitored. Like maybe use AWS CloudWatch or maybe use another um, tool, for example, like Sumo Logic or Datadog or any other um, that's connected to your AWS. So that way you can keep a check of your infrastructure and monitoring as i mentioned is really important so you know my daily day to day responsibilities also include include like sometimes creating new alerts something modifying alerts just to keep in check of what's happening and what's the status of each of our resources for example if you know if you have an rds database just to keep in check of it we need to keep constantly look at the rds metrics from time to time if we uh, have an S3 bucket, also take a look at its um, its uh, metrics time to time. And, you know, we also have CloudWatch um, alerts for different RDS databases. So that's like the daily responsibility of, you know, just going through them. But um, other than all of this, like, you know, working in different tools, always taking a look at the infrastructure, always keeping up with new projects, always creating new things in AWS, 
always modifying things in AWS or using Terraform, Jenkins, and so many other tools which come all are kind of linked together. So that's the, uh, I would say the daily day-to-day -day responsibilities. However, um, alongside of these, as a DevOps engineer, you know, it's not always that you will be working on one tool uh, this time and one tool this time. It's kind of like a mixture of all of the tools that you work together on. And it all depends on your organization or the company you're working at. So there are different types of like tasks, there are different types of projects that are coming up in your company that are needed or are required. So you work on them, like whatever projects you get, you start working on them. Like if Even if it's like creating new infrastructure or modifying new infrastructure or setting up new resources or just working on different things that keep on coming up. So a daily day-to-day -day activity, can include like so many different things like you know you if you work on jira uh, as a you can have sprints you can have boards in which you are allotted tickets in which you can create tickets and you know you can just discuss them with your teammates you can just collaborate with your team members and you know just work on different in different things on your infrastructure of your organization so um it, it can be like a lot of things and even in a DevOps engineer position, you can also have a lot of cleanup jobs. Like, for example, if there's some older version that is being used, you need to upgrade to a new version of a specific service or a specific tool. So that's how just things work as a DevOps engineer. Like you, there's always things coming in because there's a lot, the cloud the, the cloud infrastructure is, you know, uh, if, if a company or an organization is 100% fully remote and on the cloud, then there's a lot to manage, there's a lot to be responsible for. So you just need to be very um, efficient and always stay up to date with the infrastructure and stay up to date with what's happening. So yeah, that's pretty much, you know, that involves a daily day to responsibilities of DevOps engineer. Alongside this, there's a lot of troubleshooting that takes place constantly. Again, as I mentioned, like if there's an error that comes up, you need to solve that, you need to troubleshoot it and then um monitor it and then fix it so you know these are the things that come up and your responsibility in a devops engineer job is also uh, documentation like you know whatever you work on whatever you change you know just to keep a track of everything documentation is also very important so you need to have a you need to have good expertise in like having good documentation and stuff so that's also involved and one thing is that you always need to be exploring things like you know you need to be exploring new services that aws for example gives you or anything that's in, or any new tool that you maybe you can use to make your infrastructure more better so that's always involved in your job like you know explore new things face new challenges and stuff like that so it always um like it's it, it is a job that doesn't have like one unique thing to do like there's so many broad things that you can do in a devops engineer job and it all depends on what type of tools the comp your company is using what type of uh, infrastructure your company has and stuff like that so there's a lot but there's always constantly like different things you can learn as a devops engineer because as i mentioned there's so much to do and so much to learn from and so much experience to gain so it's always nice to um have think the uh, things running you know keeping a check of everything and doing your work as a devops engineer so this is kind of just like the gist of uh, how a devops engineer daily day-to-day -day life and responsibilities are just to keeping a check of everything managing infrastructure administrating it creating more things uh, having introducing automation like keeping a check of everything you know just pretty much whatever i just talked about in this whole video so if you guys have any questions regarding all of this just feel free to comment down below and i will answer in the uh, comment section so this will be the end of this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and share 